Okay, good morning everyone. Let me um, welcome you uh, to the 64th meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research um, and tell you that we actually find ourselves in a slightly unusual circumstance I wanted to bring to your attention. Um, normally sitting to my left um, is Mark Geyer and uh, Mark I think has normally sat here, sits here for I'm sure over half of those 64, maybe far more than those. And, um, in the middle of the night, Mark was called away to a, a family emergency, a medical emergency, and will not be able to be joining us. Now there is, so Rudy Pizzotti is, has stepped in and will be serving as executive secretary during this meeting. And in fact, that's not a completely unexpected circumstance because we'd already been planning that over time, uh, Rudy was going to take the reins of this responsibility. Um, but we had a plan where Mark was going to be like Obi-Wan Kenobi and teach the new Jedi Knight how to perform this service, and, uh, and there wasn't time for that. So. Um, needless to say, um, we are, we, that's right, we are going to fly by the seat of our pants and may the force be with us, but um, we, our thoughts are with Mark and his family right now, and um, as a result, we will be juggling things in various ways, um, and if it looks like it's because we know what we're doing, it's only because Mark had the master plan for this council meeting, and uh, we don't have it, so we're reconstructing it. Um, I will tell you that he was scheduled to give a portfolio review that will not happen this council meeting. Um, we will um, uh, plan to have a formal portfolio review um, at the May council meeting instead. Um, and I will tell you that with uh, uh, rookies on board in terms of running a council meeting without Mark, um, we will we will be juggling. So the, 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 I'm sure the agenda is going to shift uh, with time um, as we go. It's also an unusual council meeting in that um, it, we, we have a fixed event in the middle, and that's at 1 o'clock today. We are using this council meeting as a venue and an opportunity to have a second of two public meetings that are required associated with our proposal for reorganizing the institute. And so, again, council has been aware this was coming, um, and it just means that we're going to have to adjust things and, and actually break for lunch on time make sure people have time to get lunch and then be back here with sufficient time to have this public meeting precisely start at one o'clock. So uh, bear with us. Uh, we will take good care of you uh, and, and let you know as the schedule uh, gets adjusted. But uh, if there's some hiccups in this, it's only because um, it, 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 we have rookies on board here right now. So I'll, I'll turn this over to Rudy for some of the uh, steps that have to be thought before my director's report. Okay, I can't resist uh, not starting with a, with a story. Um, years ago, uh, the woman who actually trained me to be an SRO was telling me that all you have to do is get really good people in the room and for a review and everything will take care of itself. And she cited this uh, occurrence where she'd gotten a phone call at 6 o'clock in the morning and someone was gravely ill and could she step in and be the SRO for this meeting that she had had absolutely no preparation in. So she went and she had a great chair and she said it worked. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll run itself. And I came home and I told this story to my wife, who's also an SRO, and I said, God, wouldn't that be really exciting to have that experience, to just leap in and do something? <laughs> and she gave me that raised eyebrow look that only spouses can give one another and said something like, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> so, all right, well, uh, good morning and welcome, everyone. Uh, I should know what council meeting this is, the number, but um, only Mark knows that information. Uh, we have a couple of new council members to introduce, uh, Jim Evans from UNC and Amy McGuire from uh, Baylor College of Medicine. Uh, we should also introduce the uh, council liaison members, and I'm going to ask them to introduce themselves since I can't uh, come out. And I think maybe one of you is new, yes? Are any of them here at this time? Uh, we're also going to introduce some new staff members here at NHGRI. Uh, Anastasia Bodnar, are you here please? Please rise. Thank you. Anastasia is a, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, a visiting fellow, is that correct? Thank you. And uh, Nicole Lockhart uh, is a detail from NCI. Nicole, are you here? Not yet. Okay. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Nicole. <laughs> yeah, uh, Nicole, uh, a, a minute, uh, a half a minute introduction about your uh, duties here. I know you're helping out with um, the ethical, legal, and social implications correct. program. And on detail from NCI. Yes. Correct. 
Great. Welcome. Okay, and Lindsay Lunn is a new program analyst working on uh, TCGA, Cancer Genome Anatomy. Thank you, Lindsay. And Susan Toy, a grants management specialist. Susan, are you? Welcome. Okay, uh, we have, according to the sign-in sheet, uh, two guests, uh, Marianne Ottinger from uh, University of Michigan. Welcome, Marianne. And Joan Scott from uh, NichePeg. Hi, Joan. Anyone else? There, there is one other new staff member uh, in the office of the director. Um, is uh, Allison Mandich is uh, my new special assistant. Um, and so uh, she's actually not physically here now. She's actually at an orientation. But you may have, she actually used to work in the extramural research program here when she was Allison Peck. Um, and, uh, but uh, she uh, replaces Susan Vasquez, who moved to, to Germany, actually, with her family. Um, but uh, it's an important name for you to know, Allison Mandich, because uh, you often will get emails um, from her on my behalf. And so it's a name you, I want you to sort of pay attention to when you get emails from her. And uh, I beg your pardon, a new council liaison has just walked in. Could you introduce yourself, please? I'm Ellen Girardi. I'm the president of the International Society for Systems Genetics. Thank you. Welcome. Um, okay, normally we would uh, have approval of the minutes from the September council meeting. Those minutes have not been completed yet, so we'll handle that offline with council, probably uh, through email. Uh, on the open session agenda, I'll call your attention to the coming meeting dates for the next uh, two years, this uh, 2012, 13, and 14 as well. Uh, if you see a con if you if your book for February of 2014, <laughs> see me about other matters. But <laughs> cer certainly, if you see a schedule conflict, um, would you notify? Send it to me. Why not? And uh, we'll try to sort that out. Okay. Um, that's it for now. I think I'm going to turn over to Eric for the director's report. Well, you've done well, Jedi Knight. Thank you. And Rudy had all of 20 minutes to realize he had this responsibility this morning. So 